Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good afternoon. So, uh, today we will continue with uh, stitch in chapter 2 but 2.5 uh, we will cover on concentration uh, by certification process. Previously, I did cover on 2.3 and 2.4 which uh, include the concentration by uh, evaporation and creaming process and whereas it is 2.5 uh, the certification process is the most widely used in industry especially in uh, Malaysia so uh, let's continue let's begin what we have here so uh, here is the centrifuge machine so what we call that centrifugation is we are we concentrate uh, we produce a concentrate using a centrifuge machine this is the illustration of centrifuge machine okay before i go with certification process we go with the flow chart for the production of lattice concentrate i think this is very important uh, of production of lattice concentrate you need to um, memorize all of uh, this process okay we start with the uh, fill latex material uh, we collect uh, the fill latex uh, and we put it in the collection point and the collection point we will transfer to the bulking tanks and uh, after that we will go to the centrifuge uh, machine at the, or the centrifuge method to produce a latex concentrate and the prepared uh, letter concentrate will be go through the blending tank here you add some ammonia to increase the amounts of ammonia because during the centrifugation process the latex uh, amounts of ammonia is significantly reduced so you need to measure the uh, amounts of ammonia and add if the, uh, the ammonia level is quite low and it depends on the uh, applications of your fill attack itself uh, on the final product manufacturing so the secondary preservative might probably be added and here is the process of the additions of secondary preservative once your letter is uh, already uh, have a good amount of ammonia for preservation you will go to the storage tank and the latex that in storage tank uh, will will uh, transport it uh, for uh, export, uh, export uh, to other industry or other country whereas uh, during certific certification process uh, it also uh, produce a skim latex which is the contents of uh, rubber slightly lower but the uh, the amount of serin uh, slightly larger and uh, here we it will go through the, the ammoniation tower to remove the ammonia so that you can coagulate and then you put some uh, skim recovery unit it then will be produced a uh, skim coagulum and finally the skim rubber usually skim rubber will, uh, will be used for dry rubber uh, industry for manufacturing of finer goods Okay, here's of the illustrations of rubber tree. I think uh, nothing much to worry about this. This uh, more on the revision for all of you. This is the uh, storage stations uh, I did mention earlier, and the letter collection in the field. Uh, usually, uh, this is the process uh, that usually happen during the collections in the field. And then the, we we have a temporary collection station. It's usually a tank truck. Okay, and then uh, field preservation. Fresh latex uh, exudes from the tree and becomes contaminated with bacteria. As you know, the bacteria will grow eventually on the latex field. This bacteria grow rapidly and eventually latex will uh, petrify. So uh, what you need to do within a few hours after tapping the latex, flocculate and eventually form a coagulum. This spontaneous coagulation of latex is undesirable and must be prevented. Thus, how to prevent uh, this uh, spontaneous coagulation? Preservatives are normally added on the, uh, to the fill latex to inhibit the growth of bacteria and keep it a fluid during uh, process, shipment and storage at the factory. So usually uh, we use uh, ammonia to preserve your fill latex 
so that uh, it will uh, remain or stay in a liquid form before uh, before uh, it reached the factory for concentration process okay the preservation is carried out as early as possible okay because you, you uh, the the faster that uh, preservation takes place is better because you can reduce the VFA number, the volatile fatty acid number and prevent any bacterial growth and eventually it will also uh, uh, what we call that uh, control the, the flocculum uh, uh, flocculum start to coagulate okay early preservation which is inhibit bacterial growth as early stage hence giving lattices with low VFA number I did mention earlier the importance of early preservation is shown in table 1 when a given low ammonia is far more effective when applied early than later time so here the uh, table uh, that easily uh, shows uh, how the VFA number affecting uh, the fill attacks Okay, usually uh, the additions of ammonia within uh, one hour, which is the uh, one percent of ammonia within one hour after the tapping, the VFA number uh, can up up to zero point zero two. Okay, after ten days, whereas after fifty days is only. Uh, increase up to 0 0.03 but what happened if you add less which is low concentration 0 0.05 after one hour or 0 0.05 okay um, after five hour the VFA number after 10 days uh, increased significantly okay from uh, 0.02 it increased to 0.03 and after 50 days it becomes 0.07 whereas for 5 hours uh, addition of ammonia it increased up to 0.06 and after 50 days it up to 0.07 which is we need to discard and if we delay the additions of ammonia although the concentration is quite high which is 1% after 9 hours it shows 0.06 which is uh, good uh, for concentration uh, of uh, fill attacks however after 50 days it will up to 0.13 and you need to discuss your uh, fill attacks so it is important uh, for you to add preservative immediately after tapping so the, this is the ammonated fill attack arrived in the factory. Fill attacks uh, on arrival of factory is sieved through an AT mesh sieve into a large reception tank. A sample of bulk latex is extracted from each tank for spot the RC determination prior to ammoniation. If the RC of latex is unsatisfactory low, which is below 2.25%, uh, latex is rejected for concentration process. Okay. If the RC is suitable, ammonia gas is immediately added to increase the ammonia content of the latex to the above of 0.4%. So you need to uh, measure the, the RC content immediately when you receive your fill attack so that you know either you want to uh, reject your uh, latex for concentration process or you can add ammonia. The ammoniated latex is then transferred to the cycling uh, tanks where it kept overnight to allow settlement of the slush. So this is the uh, standard uh, procedure that we commonly use to eliminate any uh, slush in the latex. Okay, uh, this is some sort of the illustration transfer from the trucks to uh, receiving tank. Okay, slash removal helps to increase the efficiency of centrifugation. In case where the latex is known to contain a high medicine content, the ammonium hydrogen phosphate is added to it to form a magnesium ammonium phosphate which is settled with natural slash and then the slash is then settled and sample of latex but, but is taken prior to centrifugation. Okay, usually when you add the de-ammonium hydrogen phosphate you allow it uh, to settle down overnight so that you can uh, remove significant amounts of magnesium ammonium phosphate okay as a natural slush 
Okay, the VFA numbers of LaTeX sample is test test to ensure the letter is well preserved. Okay, the VFA number is very important because uh, if the VFA number is very high, more likely you will not uh, produce a good LaTeX, and during the process it will uh, produce uh, more defect and etc. And then. Uh, well preserved letter should have VFA number not greater than 0 0.05 which is uh, well preserved usually at 0 0.01 to 0.03% and lattices with higher VFA number are not allowed to uh, for concentrate production okay so usually uh, what happened to the higher VFA number of um, uh, fill attacks we didn't produce a concentrated latex but we immediately coagulated so that we can uh, produce a uh, dry rubber okay this is fill attacks we pump into reception tank the reception tank etc okay here is very important the requirement that should be considered before latex is approved uh, here the approval for latex concentration process the first one latex must be safe so we don't want any uh, flocculum precoagulum uh, into your fill latex and a stable latex are obtained here uh, you measure the ammonia contents the mst etc fill latex suitable for concentrate production should have the rc of above 25 percent why 25 usually we try to achieve at least 60 percent of the rc but uh, fill latex with uh, the rc below than 25 usually can achieve 20, uh, 60 percent after the certification process so ammonia le level should not less than 0.4% weight over weight of latex. So in in case uh, during the receiving of latex, the ammonia content uh, significantly reduced because uh, during the transportation, ammonia might, might probably uh, evaporated. So you need to add more ammonia so that it can uh, reach above than 0.4% uh, weight over weight. Okay. And then VFA number usually around 0.01 to 0.03 which is uh, not more than 0.05 okay? because during the process, the uh, concentration process, the VFA number will uh, increase uh, slightly higher because higher concentrates uh, of uh, latex uh, have higher DRC so it will reflecting on higher, slightly higher VFA number. So usually, uh, to be safe, uh, we only accept around 0.01 to 0.03. I think uh, VFA, you will conduct a, uh, lab testing uh, on measuring uh, the VFA number. The ammon ammoniated latex is left overnight to be slushed before uh, centrifugation. This is a common practice. You need to uh, follow the standard practice because if you did not allow the, the uh, latex to rest overnight so more probably uh, your latex will have uh, significant amounts of slash which is the magnesium and will reflect your final products okay here's the illustration series of centrifuge machine uh, industry okay we, all, we also have a centrifuge machine in our lab but only a single unit okay the centrifugation process. Uh, this is the uh, important parts of this subject here. The centrifugation process to produce a concentrated latex. The basic principle which employ in a centrifugation process is to break up a rotating mass of latex into a number of thin conical shell using a high speed rotating bowl containing a series of conical discs. Okay. After this, I, uh, I will show the illustration of the bowl and this in um, centrifuge machine. The resulting effect is a separation of latex whereby the rubber rich concentrate flow inward toward the axis and the denser rubber deplete portions or skim flow upward from the axis of the rotation. So this process basically is separating uh, higher contents of the RC and lower uh, percentage of the RC so that uh, by doing that your denser uh, rubber uh, higher, uh, higher the IC content will become a concentrated latex. Okay, during centrifuge centrifugation of the following stage take place. Okay, the first one removal of water from fill latex, uh, the RC of 28 to 34%. Okay, latex concentrated to 60% of the RC, and then removal of 50 to 60% of VFA 
through a serum okay this is a uh, very important because the VFA number usually affected by the uh, serum um, in a filler text and then removal about 50% of ammonia used in preservation of filler text is not only removing a serum but it also remove um, approximately half amount of ammonia what you need to do next is once you produce a concentrated latex you need to add more ammonia and a byproduct of the RC 4 to 10 percent known as skim latex is produced uh, this is also the uh, byproducts of the uh, centrifugation uh, process this is the illustrations of uh, centrifugation uh, a centrifuge machine sorry so here you have a feed cups uh, floating uh, fit tubes etc uh, I think uh, you can go through this uh, by your own okay uh, I will share some of the videos that uh, include the process involved during the certification process okay but this uh, diagram is very important so you need to uh, take a look on each of the components of the uh, Centrifuge machine. Okay, this is the dish uh, uh, that I did uh, mention earlier. Uh, the dish in the centrifuge machine. Okay, and then let's concentrate in the centrifuge. There are several types of centrifuge used in industry. The most common use model is uh, alpha laval uh, or laval centrifuge. The alpha laval centrifuge a uh, dish tag solid retaining uh, concentrator. In our lab, we have alpha laval centrifuge machine. This means that the separated solid accumulated as the inside surface of the bowl and distributor wall forming layers that are removed manually at inter intervals. The magnetic braking device reduces time uh, required to stop in the bowl for cleaning. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, for the operation machine, there are only three adjustments which can be made on the centrifuge to vary its performance. The first one the floating level which determine the feed rates uh, of the ingoing latex and use for fine adjustment okay the second one the feed tube diameter which is the main factor of varying the feed rate okay uh, final one is a skim uh, screw length which determine the screen uh, throughput and consequently the concentrate uh, throughput okay the, during the process operation okay latex uh, is fit into a fit cups a uh, number uh, referring to the diagram uh, earlier that I show you so the liquid level is held constant by a fluid okay and then the flow uh, through a fit tubes into a center of the bowl central action force through a series of eight tubes in a distributor to provide efficient distribution of this tank and ensure high bolt efficiencies. Feed is immediately split into two fractions. The first one is a heavy phase scheme and the second one a light phase which is the concentrate or the creams, okay, the rubber creams. Uh, scheme flow to the bowl are very free uh, passing out outside the specially designed top disc and is discharged into a skim rubber through a regulating screw. Next, the latex concentrate it is placed to the center and over the next of the top disc where the overflows into a cream cover and through a series of holes. That the particle which do not separate return to the center. Okay, the discharge concentrate require no further sedimentation. The heavy sludge in a fit already separated in inside distributor and centrifuge uh, performance is caused by the bolt efficiency which is defined as follows so you can go through uh, this uh, equation I think I will uh, give a few exercise uh, regarding on this uh, uh, centrifuge performance efficiencies eh, or bolt efficiencies okay the truth uh, truth put the the rc of the resulting concentrate and the bolt efficiency are inter interrelated and are determined by fixed sets of operating conditions such as the rc of the fit latex fit rate the screw uh, skim screw length running times of the centrifuge the efficiencies of the centrifuge and the throughput at 
in an opposite way. The choice between achieving high efficiency and a high throughput depends on economic consideration. High efficiency cost uh, centrifugation requires a low throughput and corresponding cross, increased number of machine and running costs. Whereas low efficiency centrifugation need only a low capital outlay and minimal operating cost. So you need to identify which one you need to produce. In practice, a compromise is aimed at reasonable high throughput and efficiency. So it should be balanced between uh, efficiencies and the quality. So this is the latex, uh, concentrate latex output illustration. So during uh, transferring your fill latex into alpha laval and then the skim latex and the concentrated latex will be separated and will come out of here. Okay, this is the storage tank I mentioned earlier. Uh, after you uh, produce a concentrated latex, you put your latex in the storage tank. Bulking and preservation. What is bulking and preservation? The final stage of the concentration process is bulking and preservation. Immediately after the centrifuge, the cream passes via cream cube to the ammoniation tank. And the ammoniation tank adjustment are made for the addition of low ammonia or high ammonia and lauric acid. It depends on the final product or which industry you want to supply. So uh, the contents of ammonia strongly uh, dependent on the. Um, uh, your customer and stuff. So they are necessary to give a required preservative level and also the mechanical stability of final concentrate while uh, uh, filling the final storage tank more than required percentage of ammonia is added initially and this is reduced as the tank is filled. Okay, usually for preservation detail, uh, this one is preservation system for centrifuge concentrate. Uh, high ammonia usually around 0.7%, uh, medium ammonia 0.4 to 0.5, we have low ammonia with additions of sodium pentachloride, uh, low ammonia with uh, boric acid, low ammonia with uh, ZDC okay, and lauric acid and then also low ammonia with TMTD and lauric acid. Uh, the types of preservation Again, uh, I mentioned earlier, depend on um, which customer they want to supply and what product they actually produce. Okay, uh, this is I mentioned earlier. Uh, so types of preservation generally depend on requirement of consumer which the latter is consigned. Here, the illustrations of the deammonization tower. Okay, as skim rubber that produced during uh, latex concentration process. So we firstly we it will go through the deammonization tower to remove the significant amounts of ammonia, and then we put uh, more acid so that it can coagulate and it produces skim rubber. Okay, uh, after this we will continue with the 2.6 the latex concentrate uh, factory.